My base photo is ready for the future photo manipulation. I jump on my second photo with the hands. And our goal here to cut out hands from the original background and use it in our future photo manipulation. For easy and fast selection of any subject or object, I use object selection tool. And don't forget to click on this arrow on the top menu bar and choose cloud detailed results, as these settings allow Photoshop to make more precise selection of objects. So just click with your mouse and select the area around the subject you need to be selected and Photoshop will do all job for you. And when the object is selected, just click on this little icon, which means mask, and drag this layer inside the window with our base photo. Now press Command plus T or Control plus T and play the layer with the hands on the spot that will look perfect for you. When you found the place for the hands, just press Enter. And now I can see that my selection was not that perfect and I still have some parts that show up from the original photo. But thanks to this mask layer that just masking the original background of the hands photo and not remove it completely, we can easily remove or bring back any detail from the original hands photo. For this, be sure to select exactly this black square, take brush tool and with black main color start to erase parts that looks not nice for you. If you would like to bring back some parts of the photo, just click on this little arrow and switch the colors from black to white and paint over the areas. And the last moment I would like to adjust is a color of my hands as I see some yellowish or greenish tint. For this I click on this icon and create a hue and saturation layer. So any color change could influence only on my hands. I need to click on this icon and attach the new hue saturation layer to the hands layer. And now by opening a yellow color in the settings, I can adjust the yellow tint on my hands. And pretty much this is it. In few minutes we created such a beautiful double exporter effect that's ready to be published in Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe on the channel and follow for more editing tutorials in the future.